Howdy, folks. Mangy Fetlocks here. Uh, you know, I heard that uh, Mark Meadows has been removed from the voter rolls in the state of North Carolina for lying about the fact that uh, he supposedly lived in a trailer house up on a hill in the middle of nowhere, uh, which he never was ever in, as he, and uh, when he was actually living in Virginia. So, uh, being Trump's former chief of staff, you knew he was skilled at lying, but uh, he's got a long history of it. This wasn't the first time, you know. Mark Meadows claimed that he lived in a trailer in North Carolina so that he could vote in a state where he didn't reside. It was clearly voter fraud about which Meadows long had railed, but it wasn't the first time that Meadows lied. Back in 1977, Mark claimed he lived in a duplex in Minnesota in a town called White Bear Lake. Didn't happen. To be eligible to compete for a girls' baton twirling team, which unfortunately Meadows didn't make. All that lying for nothing. In the fall of 95, Mark purchased a mausoleum, which he claimed as a vacation residence. To receive his discount ski pass at a ski hill near the tomb, in a ploy used only by someone who's real dense. Back in 2006, Meadows claimed he was a woman so that he'd get half price drinks on ladies' night. It worked out, but after four, he was escorted to the door for being too obnoxious, lewd, and impolite. And they said he looked like shit in his short skirt. It's a thought I don't want to hold in my mind very long. Hey, thanks for listening.